Hi guys, I'm getting ready to cook dinner and I'm going to fix moonshine chicken. Now I'm just going to uh, grill my chicken breasts out there on the flat top griddle, but I thought I'd make my sauce in here on the stove top and as the chicken's grill and maybe brush it on. It's the first time I'm making it like this. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw this sauce together real quick on video and share it with you guys. Okay, I have about a cup and a quarter of apple pie moonshine. A half a cup of soy sauce. The juice of a lime. Six tablespoons of brown sugar. Uh, this is probably about half a tablespoon of ground ginger. And I've got one tablespoon of cornstarch. And then I've got one heaping tablespoon of the minced garlic. So I'm going to take my whisk and mix this all together until it's well combined. Okay, that's ready to go. So now I'm going to turn my burner to high and bring this up to a boil. If I need to, I will turn the burner down or off as needed, but the ideal is to reduce this down and make it a little thicker. So I'm just gently whisking this as I'm allowing the mixture to come up to a boil. And I'm just going to watch it until it thickens up to my desired consistency. Now I'm going to try to thicken this up enough to where it's not real thin and runny, but it's not overly thick. It's coming up to a boil. So because I have the cornstarch in it, it shouldn't take long at all for this to thicken up. Okay, I'm going to reduce my heat to about a medium. And that's about the consistency I think I will leave it at. Because it will probably thicken up a little bit more as it sets here. So I'm just going to cover with the lid. Allow that to set until I'm ready to use it out on the grill. So I'm using thin sliced chicken breast today. So to get these chicken breasts ready for the griddle, flat top grill, I'm just going to salt and pepper each side. Go out to the flat top grill and I'm going to allow my griddle to come up to temperature and I'll probably grill these on about a medium heat. If I need to, I'll just up to medium high. I'm sure that for the number of chicken breasts that I have, that it's not going to use all of this uh, moonshine sauce that I've made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit over into my measuring cup and reserve that back in case anybody wants to add it to their chicken after the fact that it's been cooked. And that's about half a cup. And then I can use this on the grilled chicken. So let's check the grill and let's get to cooking. Okay, I have my grill preheated and I've only heated up half of the grill because I don't think I'm gonna need the whole surface. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on my griddle and spread that around. And next I'm gonna place my chicken breast onto the griddle. Now it shouldn't take long at all for these chicken breasts to fry until they're done. So I'm going to go ahead and get my apple moonshine sauce out and I'm going to start brushing these chicken breasts. So I'm just going to allow them to cook a little bit and I'll flip them and repeat the same steps.
my drill tip's potted towards the top of the drill than it does the lower part, so that's why I moved the chicken breast further upwards. I think most drills are all about the same. They'll have their hot spots and their cooler spots. So I'm just adding a little bit more of this moonshine sauce. And this smells so good, you can just, <laughs> it smells so good, it makes you want to just eat it by itself. So I'm just going to allow these to continue to cook, maybe flip them another time or two, and they should be done. I will be testing them with my meat thermometer to make sure that they're thoroughly cooked, because you sure never want to take a chance on undercooked chicken. And then it should be done and ready for dinner. So here is the finished chicken you all it smells and looks delicious i can't wait to dig in so i'm gonna go ahead and plate up so i'm gonna put a little bit of my cauliflower salad which is a low carb version of a potato salad except of course it doesn't have potatoes a beautiful piece of that moonshine chicken and a few of my low carb hush puppy muffins now, I have plenty of sauce on mine. I do still have the other sauce reserved in the other cup in case anybody wants to add any to theirs, but this should be plenty for mine. So, thank you all for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this recipe. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share out my videos. It does help out a little bit. Thanks, you all.